whatever. Hello YouTube, this is Stefan for Bushcraft Holland. I'm going to tell you something about some new knife purchases. First of all, this is the Golok Machete, made by Condor. And I think it's a beaut. It comes without a sheet, by the way. Well, you can order a separate sheet. I didn't, because I'm not probably not going to use this in the field, just as an ornament on the wall or as a, for in my collection. A really thick handle, wooden handle. Three rivets, lanyard hole. It starts at six millimeter thick steel and tapers down till 3.5 millimeter in the end. So it's a really strong, heavy machete. So uh, I'm considering uh, going a bit more into living history also. And that's why I ordered the Hudson Bay, also by Condor. It is a very old look style blade. It's an old model, really old school knife. It's thick and heavy with a good solid handle. No lanyard hole by the way. But it feels real nice in the hand. And it comes with thick leather for carrying with a sort of a dangler sheet, a swiveling point here. So what I also picked up, and you see a lot of reviews about this knife already, is the newer model uh, um, Bushlore, Woodlore, made by Condor. It's a very nice knife. It's about 3 millimeters thick, and that is about the same thickness as the Hulter Force Heavy Duty. Also, it has almost the same dimensions. As you can see, the handle is almost the same. The blade of the Condor is different style and a bit longer. But almost the same dimensions. But it's a, it's a full tank design. So, it should be more rugged. Made of carbon steel. Uh, I have very good experience with carbon steel. I really, really like it. And also, again, Good leather for carrying, nothing too fancy, but sturdy enough to do the job. And what I also picked up, and I only have seen one review of, of this knife on YouTube, and it's made by Mr. Dragon, is uh, the Martini Full Tang knife. And I like it a lot. It was uh, uh, almost 50 euros. And it's a stainless steel blade. I don't know what kind of stainless steel exactly. But it's a, a one piece design. So the full tank is in the back. And here. So actually the, the only non steel part are the, the hardwood inlays here. And this makes it a rugged knife. The back of the blade is straight and you have a nice curve. It doesn't come shaving sharp but sharp enough for uh, wood carving etc. Also it's really comfortable to choke up to the blade. Again if you look at this it's uh, handle heavy so it's really easy to maneuver the, the blade. Also for betoning I think this is an uh, a plus because sometimes you just want to baton uh, and hit the knife a bit here well normally you might ruin the handle and with this knife you just hit the steel so there should be no worries there uh, the sheet that Mr. Dragon showed you has changed a bit it's actually become a bit better it has a kind of weird dangler system so it's in the front of the sheet and it has a belt loop. But the knife goes in deep and you have a retention strap.
to keep it in place it fits in real snug okay I might well this winter I'm going on a, a winter salami survival I might bring this axe this is made by Hulter Frost it's a small axe but I'm not sure because it has a lot of weight I might change it for another blade that's also heavy enough to do a bit of chopping so we'll see but it's a, it's a nice axe also I wanted to have a, a, a folding knife which I could open and close with gloves on so I decided to buy another sword I have one with the orange handles uh, at the sword side they're saying they're going to bring it back well okay I think orange is a nice color but they didn't have it and I wanted it now and they only had the pink one so well if I leave this at the campsite for a moment unattended I think they won't steal it so it's too obvious to steal and it's a very sharp blade also this it's very simple very simple made put this in your pack for the smaller chores food preparing it's a carbon steel so it needs some maintenance but it's very easy to sharpen and it feels right real good in the hand also with gloves on so this is going to be my uh, my folding knife for the coming winter expedition in nice bright pink you will be able to see this when it falls on the floor because well in nature not too much things are pink so this uh, sm small video about my new knives and uh, I'm going to tell you more about my setup for the winter including all the different gears I will bring uh, in a while so take care bye bye Whatever.